we will always strive for fair and just transition. That means a fair outcome for future generations to live on a healthy planet. A fair journey for all those impacted with decent jobs and a solemn promise to leave no one behind. I see three major economic challenges for our industry in the year ahead. The first has to do with our labor market. With SURE, the first ever European short time work initiative, we saved 40 million jobs. We then immediately restarted our economic engine thanks to Next Generation EU. Instead of millions of people looking for jobs, millions of jobs are looking for people. So we need to improve access to the labor market. This is why we will convene a new social partner summit. The second major economic challenge, persistent high inflation. The good news is that Europe has started bringing energy prices down. We used Europe's critical mass to bring prices down and secure our supply. So we need to look at how we can replicate this model of power, purchasing power at the market, a model of success also in other fields like critical raw materials and, for example, clean hydrogen. The third challenge of European companies is about making it easier to do business. Before the end of the year, we will appoint an EU SME envoy. We want to hear directly from small and medium enterprises. And next month, we will make the first legislative proposal towards reducing reporting obligations at the European level by 25%. These three challenges, labor, inflation, and business environment, come at a time when we are also asking industry to lead on the clean transition. So we need to look further ahead and set out how we remain competitive as we do that. And that is why I have asked Mario Draghi, one of Europe's great economic minds, to prepare a report on the future of European competitiveness because Europe will do whatever it takes to keep its competitive edge.